Hello and welcome back to another Japan Craig video. Yes, it's that time of month again. So, let's get right to it. The first thing off the bat is, of course, the cool covers, as you can see. And then we go to the first page. The Jap Crate. Recreate your Japan Crate. Things you can win. We go to the continuing adventures of Lollipop Girl. And we have Japan Crate Man. Now we go to a new layout for their mini original and premium. It actually it's a little bit more uh, noticeable now, so you can see exactly what you're getting with each crates. And of course, if you get the premium like I do, you get all three crates in one. And then you have a description of some of the thing, two of the things that's in the crate. If you can get it to. Hopefully you can read that if you pause it and zoom in. I always keep my automatic focus off because otherwise it'd be going in and out all the time. And here's the Segoy crate this time around, which actually looks pretty good. Sort of. It's got uh, 3DS. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Learn Japanese. We have Japanese food. Kodomo, number. Hi. Kodomo, no, hi. And the last. All new Japan Crate. Now, look, they say all new. As you can see, introducing the new Japan Crate. Now, I did notice, as it says, did you notice that the, the crate has was a little bigger than you remember. Actually, it's not It's not bigger this way. It's bigger this way. So yeah, it's a little longer this time. Just just probably, I, was, I think the original was probably about here. So you have a little bit more space. It needs to be higher though. You know, when I finally get my, to, my uh, Tokyo uh, treat crate, I still haven't got my April crate yet. So I was hoping to do the video, but I had a feeling this would show up first. But you can see now it has a really large premium on it. And of course it's got the little uh, artwork on the side there. Yeah, it's got the new colorful interior. So let's get right to it. Best, I was worried to read that for you. Uh, we made all Japan grades bigger and now they include more items for no additional cost. So, let's go back to the index here, which is there. At least I could show you some of the things we got in the crate I've seen before, but you can only go so far. So, we, this time around we have this little thing. Looks like this month's do-it-yourself kit is a melon-flavored jelly concoction. The longer you stir and let it sit, the gooier it gets. <laughs> Open it up. See what the uh, contents look like. Yeah, I figured it was a little, a little squished tray. <laughs> well, they didn't uh, take a little care there when they were putting it into the crate, but it's got some sugar type of powder on it and a little stir stick. So we'll try that out later. Next, we have something I've seen before, and actually we've had before. It's the Big Bar Z. This is the white chocolate one. The Big Crunch Bar, similar in texture to a giant Kit Kat that's been completely soaked in smooth, decadent white chocolate. Big Bar Z does not disappoint. Yeah, I totally agree. I like these. Although I like the chocolate, the, the regular chocolate, but they're, they're both still really good. Now, this one we've not had before. This little guy here, if I can keep the reflections off so you can see it. 
This is the, if I can find it here on the list, ah, oh, this is for the premium crate. The king has lost his crown. Lucky for you, it ended up in their crate in the form of a delicious cookie. Help him find his crown, or better yet, eat it. <laughs> so, let's open it up and take a look. Mmm, nice chocolate scent there. Wait, I smell coconut. Yeah, it smells like chocolate coconut in a way. Mm, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. It's got chocolate in the center. That's really good. I'm trying to... The scent is really familiar. Now, I can't... It almost smells a little like it's got some coconut in it. But it's hard to describe. Um, I've, I've had that scent before. But I can't... It, it, it'll probably come to me later. I can't, I can't replace it at the moment. Now we got little mini ones of these. Like we had in the last box. These are... Sako Panda is celebrating his 20th birthday. The Sak... Whoa, oh, I spelled... Saku Saku Panda cookies are sweet and crunchy. Did you know Saku Saku is an amino... That word always is a tongue twister. Onomatopoeia. Ono... Onomato... Ah, forget it. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. For that crunchy sound when walking on snow, leaves, or in sand. Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. It's it's a tongue. It's I try to say it three times fast without getting your tongue twisted. I always like these boxes. They have little pull ups and then a little cartoon right there. Although I have no idea what the cartoon is. Although it sort of looks like he's making them. Oh, there you go. Twentieth anniversary celebration. We got the cookies. Although I have a feeling it's slightly melted. We had a ninety eight degree weather today. In fact, I actually put these in the fridge when I first got them yesterday. But because of the being hot weather coming here, yeah, they're all melted. That's a shame. See, that's the problem with getting Japan crates. I mean, look at this. They're all melted. Won't stop me from eating them, but... There's, there'd be a nice... It would, I actually would pay a little bit more for those way you can actually make the box with uh, not air conditioning, uh, but coolant of some type. Uh, um, ice packs. I don't know. Something to keep it, keep the chocolate from melting. But, I mean, it happens so much. I mean, you get something like that, and it's coming all the way across country from California to Georgia, and it's got chocolate in it, and they got hot weather like this that we're getting, you know for a fact it's going to be melted. So it's it's just, it, it's a shame. It's a waste. Oh, by the way, that one was Asian Food Grocer. Asian Food Grocer. Again. Uh, three of them so far, and this one too. Which, let me see if I can get it right here. These little odd little things. These are... Yeah. Uh, Kanako, uh, Mochito Kanako Mochi. <laughs> Kanako is a traditional soybean flavor. F flavor? Flour. <laughs> Tongue twister dyslexia. Soybean flour that's naturally sweet and healthy. It's often paired with mochi, a Japanese rice cake. Not only is dessert naturally sweet and tasty, it's also healthy. And that's one of the, uh, things they have right there that you can read as I posted earlier. You can pause it and read the description on. Let me open it up here and we'll see what it looks like. I'm trying to be careful because this thing might crack open. Yeah. I did open it a little earlier because it was uh, very fragile. It's got a little uh, do not eat. <laughs> but these are pretty cool. They're like they come in a pack there. They're squishy. <laughs> like little uh, biscuits in a way. 
<laughs> there are little biscuits. But what? Let me see here. Uh, doesn't really ex explain exactly what. Well, I mean, they probably do on there, but they don't have much of a scent. It's it's kind of powdery scent because there's powder on the outside. I'm feel I have a feeling there's a gel on the inside, but I'm not gonna eat one at the moment. Well, what the heck? I gotta show you anyway what it looks like. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's got a strange taste to it. It's a little like a uh, I would have to say green tea. <laughs> That's very strange. Got some on my keyboard. I'm trying to push it out of the way. Actually, I'll push it up that way. I won't get it on there. Next, we have something I've had before and I've always enjoyed. These. Although this one is different than... I, think, I don't remember having exactly the caramel corn one. But the... These are hugely popular, like Cheetos. And I showed you before. The ones I like the most. And... Yep, Asian food grocer. The one I like the most is the strawberry. That one is really good. Yeah, this is this is pure caramel. And as you can see, they look a little like uh, shrimp. Yeah, these are good. There, I'm trying to. There's a certain cereal they're very similar to, in my opinion. Yeah, we got another one of these, and it's probably melted too. I hope not, but these are the, they're big chocolate biscuits. This is the Puku Puku Tai Choco. Puku Puku refers to the sound of fish gulping, and Taiyaki is a dish, traditional fish shaped dessert. So, we've had these before. I think the last one was a panda, it might have been. It's Make sure it's not melted here. Yeah, yeah, we've had yeah, we had this one before. Yeah, at least it's in good shape. See, big biscuit. It's got chocolate, you know, chocolate on the inside. Chocolate, uh, chocolate mousse in a way. Yeah, I'll just leave it on top. But, ooh, goody! I got a cat. <laughs> what in the heck is this? Whoa. This is weird. Look at this thing. Uh, this is a oh, big mushuro or a big marshmallow. That's all it is. It's just a big freaking marshmallow. <laughs> I mean, you can even see it's a, just a big, big long marshmallow. Okay. It would be better if it was flavored other than just a normal marshmallow. I would, it'd be nice if it was like strawberry or something else, chocolate. Just a big marshmallow. You can buy a bag of them. <laughs> Next we have another one. Oh, let's see. Uh, yep, Asian Food Grocer. So that's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven so far from them. And here's eight. <laughs> this is, make sure I get it right. There you go. I lean this way so I can get the microphone so you can get better audio. <laughs> this is the oh. Kajarito Yo? I don't know. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Cola candy. <laughs> which literally means, which transmates into Let's Gnaw is a chewy rope candy that is cola flavored on the outside and cider flavored. On the inside, two different soda flavors in the candy. Huh. Very interesting. So let's take a look at what it appears. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Got the, the white center. And that was a uh, cider. It's got a good scent, really. I'll take, I'll take a tiny bag. Hmm. Good. It's got a good tangy quality to it. Me like, me like. 
Now, we've had this before, or something very similar to it. Yee, yee, yee. <laughs> this is the uh, something I have to find here for you. I think it's not showing on my cart here, so this is clearly something that was added as a bonus. But I can tell you that it's a grape gummy, as you can see right there, with sugar on the outside. So it's a sweet grape gummy. It's not. It shouldn't be sour. I don't remember it being sour. But we've had, we've had something similar to this before. But it's as you. It's it's not. It's not on the list. <laughs> now these are new. These are cool looking. Uh, let's see here. And these are Hachimitsu 100%. Hachimitsu is Japanese for honey. And these hard candies are true to their name. 100% honey. Now, this is what I like. And we have something very similar to this over here. Uh, they're made way up north and then shipped down here. Not sure. Yeah, little packages right there. Oh, <laughs> here's a little package upside in the right direction. Yeah, they're very similar to what we have around here, but they're smaller, way smaller. The ones we have here in the States, they come, you know, a little pack about that long, and they're square, and they have honey on the inside. And they're made, the ones that I see, they're always made up, way up north in like New Hampshire and then shipped all over. Uh, but you got to be careful when you get them. It's like, the only place I can get them around here is this health food store up in the big city above me. Uh, but you have to be careful when you get them because sometimes they'll be melted. <laughs> Which is not surprising considering they're pure honey. <laughs> well, honey with a gelatin type of envelope around them so that it keeps them, but it's still all, all honey. We got this little thing. Now, this is new. It's not. Oh, wait. Oh, Asian food grocery. This one. Ah, this is the sour cider gum. Here's something for the sour candy lover. Cider is refreshing soda that is especially good for hot days. Hey! <laughs> this gum encompasses the flavor with a, a fun sour kick. So let's take a look at what it looks like on the inside. Oh, let's, let's not. <laughs> okay. If I can get it to track down the seam here. That's one. Wanting to be a pain in the butt. There we go. That's what it looks like. It's got a green, a faint bluish green hue. Hmm. Got a little bite. Mm, it's not that sour. Actually, it's quite plain. I mean, it's good. I'm not saying it's. But that it's not it's not the sour they say it is. Now what do we have here? Hmm. Interesting. Pandoru. A pen oh, I'm sorry, Pandaru <laughs> cookies. These butter cookies are shaped like cute pandas. There are five different packages of these for these cookie cookies. Which face did you get on yours? So let's look. Again, nah. I'm not going to look. <laughs> I have lost an ear. <laughs> and it's not in the package. So I got a Jip cookie, man. Manufacturing defect. I want my money back. <laughs> got uh, one, two, three, and this one. So, ah. Pop Rocks. I can tell right away just by shaking it. It's pretty pretty obvious. There they go. Even the package gives it away. Similar to Pop Rocks, Hachi Pachi Panic Cola brings you the, ca the cackling. I was about to say cackling. 
the cra <laughs> crackling taste of cola was sour lemon surprise. Hmm. Cool. I'll crack it open here if I can. Usually they have a little rip tab. This one doesn't have it. So I already want taste. There we go. Boy, it's like ripping open a. What the heck? Wait, what am I missing here? Hmm, no. Interesting. It's got. There's the crackling candy portion. And then it's got these little uh, white pills mixed into them. I'm not taking medicine with my Pop Rocks, am I? <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely pop rock. I hear it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I broke my tooth. <laughs> it's got a good. Ooh, it's got a good crackling. It's still going. Just that little piece. That's still. Good. That's got a lot of crackling to it. Wow. I think that's. Stronger than the normal Pop Rocks. Oh. I got it on my hands. It won't come off. <laughs> now I've got the little, uh, this is the kitty cup. <laughs> if I can get, these things are always that. Pain. There we go. So, oh, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah. It's a kitten in a cup. <laughs> Nice little keychain. Yeah, Gashopon. Hold it up so you can get a better detailed view of it. Little kitty in a cup. Second to last. It's starting to get a little dark outside. We got these again. These are the uh, Neuroshio potato chips. Uh, they're seaweed. Yeah, seaweed and salt. I mean, they, I, last time I had them, they, they taste like normal normal chips. I, mean, I didn't taste any seaweed difference in them. And that was also not. <laughs> Never mind. But this one is actually from Asian Food Grocery. We've had this one before, too. And this is the Haji Kit Day? Oh, well. Sparkling Grape Cider. <laughs> yeah, which is, I always like these. Man. I occasionally get them from uh, the other stores. Really good. Got a um, a mild grape flavor. I mean, it's not really strong, but it's nice and tasty. And that covers everything in here for this time. So the next video I will put up will be the Tokyo crate for a uh, uh, Tokyo treat crate box treat crate box oh. <laughs> the tokyo treat box that i'll get and that'll be the april one because i haven't received it yet they've they just sent off the june one and i haven't even received the april one yet. get that so i'll see you when i get it i hope you enjoy take care